Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. This is going to be the sixth video of MCP playlist model context protocol. In this video, I'm going to introduce you an MCP marketplace named Glamma AI. So Glamma AI is a marketplace for not only MCP, it has gateways, models, playgrounds, so on and so forth, but they have created a, you know, this production ready uh, marketplace for the MCP ecosystems where you can use MCP servers that are already there, shared by somebody, you know, and you can also publish your own server, you know, on Glamma AI. So let's see how we can utilize this marketplace. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I'm on Glamma website. It says glamma.ai slash MCP slash servers. If you look at here on top, it has MCP right here. Now, in this in this MCP, you know, if you see, we have, first of all, a lot of categories in the left side, like local remote hybrid. Now, just to you know, explain a little bit, what do we mean by local and remote? MCP servers, which are remote, have no local dependencies. You know, if you already have hosted that on some remote servers or that you just some third party that you can that you are using through API and providing your MCP server and it has no local dependencies where you have to run something locally. That's what called remote MCP servers. Local means you have to, you know, handle dependencies, installations and so on and so forth and then use it through an MCP client. That's what local is and hybrid means it's a mix of it. So first of all, that's the three uh mcp thing that we have if you look at here it has total of 3413 servers you know over here and you can easily use it i'll show you how okay uh it has uh python based servers and there are different languages which are available mcp servers are available in rust go python and typescript as of now you can see python and typescript uh, typescript leads it and python is not behind and they have then 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 they have the genre categories right arts culture uh, databases if you want to connect with postgres superbase so and so, so on and so forth you have knowledge and memory you have marketing search like tabula i also you search if you go, let's click on search here now if you click on search you will find out all the servers related to search right now if you look at here there are so many servers available like it's uh, like you have this milli search you have a scrape graph you have tabuli that's one of my favorite you know tabuli mcp server and i'm going to show you now how you can add your own server let's see for example now on top you see something called add server when you click on that you can give it a name so if i come here on my github repository i have something called linkedin profile mcp so let me just copy this and show you you have to submit it they will approve it the text time and uh, they will do a uh, they will do an kind of an uh, assessment and then they will do it. Let me write something here quickly. Okay, I'm going to write this MCP server in JSON format, blah, blah, blah. This is, I created this in my previous video. So watch my videos in MCP playlist. So here I'm writing that. I'm going to give this, uh, it's a subfolder, like it's a sub repository. Well, that's fine. I'll just give it here. Uh, come here and give that. And I'll give my email address and I'm going to add. Now I'm adding a new MCP server. Make sure you have a good readme.file, readme.md file, which will basically help these guys read your repository, assess it, and of course, look at your code and stuff. So I'm just uh, going to add it here. Now, when I add it, you will see they will say thanks for adding. They will notify me once that is added to this marketplace. So here you can contribute to this marketplace, to this MCP ecosystem. And of course, you can you know, contribute a lot because then these guys will find out, you know, if somebody is interested, they will reach out to you, right? And they can work with you. So that's how we do open source contributions. Now, I have added my server. Once that is accepted, they will notify me through the email that I have, you know, uh, pasted there. Now, imagine you want to use one of the MCP server and you don't have time to like go and create and configure your own and you want to use that somebody has already done it. You don't want to reinvent the wheel, right? So for that, we can also do it. Now, if you look at here, the Tabuli one that we opened, Tabuli MCP server. Tabuli is a very famous service for uh, information discovery on the internet. So it's by Tabuli AI, you know, so they have a readme file. How do we work with it? How to do it? Very simple. I'm not going to run this because it's have very detailed step by step. You can see the config file here. Uh, you can see I'm already running here in uh, VS Code. So in VS Code, I have I have my AI agent client here. If you look at here, uh, so what can I do for you? Now, if I ask, it will not work right now because I already have uh, 
set up the MCP server. You can see it has set up the MCP server. You know, it has set up your MCP. I've successfully set up the Tevila MCP server for both client and cloud desktop. So I already have set it up. And you can also, uh, let me just remove this. I don't have the credits uh, for this, but yeah, it says, I found a Tevili MCP server demonstration script. This is how to use Tevili API, blah, blah, blah. I was asking a question about search on internet about quantum computing. Now, if you look, look here, how you can set it up. It's very easy, guys. It's like, if I go back, okay. First, make sure if you want to use, you can see I'm searching this. You have to install. I already have installed. You know, uh, this in it's an it says autonomous coding agent right in your IDE. So in VS Code, I use this. You can also do it on cursor and windsurf, and you can also do it on cloud for desktop. I already have shown it how to configure config.json. Now you install it. Once you install this extension, you will find out this uh, icon here. Go on this icon, and on top you will find out this MCP server. You can see in MCP server, I have uh, if I show you Tavili. You can see Tavila install. Now you can install Tavila. I'm not installing because I don't have a lot of credits. It will take time to install it. But I have configured for, you can see I don't have balance for it. Let's say your client credit balance is negative, but I don't want to renew it because I already have a cloud for desktop uh, and there I'm doing it. But you can follow this step by step how to configure these MCP clients on both cursor and cloud desktop to work with Tavila. Not only Tavila, you can take any mcp server from here if you want to take like just say let's say databases now in databases you can find out queued rant if you want to build rag based solutions right you can use this vector database to use it uh, that's their mcp and uh, mcp server how easy it is right you can see using uvx uh, using uv you can set it up like this it will run it the, the easiest will be to through, uh, to do th through docker so you can do this through docker as well you can see docker run hyphen p and then just do it. So here you can find out all the, I'll say all the listed and uh, tested uh, MCP server. So you can find out all the tested one, not like anybody who is like just publishing it here. All these are tested and used by a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of developers. You can see 244 stars, like for this QDRENT MCP server. This is amazing, right? So I wanted to introduce Glamour to you. I already have introduced in previous, previous videos, MCP installer. In the next video, I'm going to show you MCP router and how automatically, you know, uh, your client will route to relevant MCP servers, right, uh, in an automated way. Imagine if you have thousands of it and how we can use MCP router to route it based on the request. So that's what I'm going to show you in the next video. Now, I just wanted to introduce Glamour. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts and feedbacks on Glamour AI, you know, in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.